Hi, today I want to talk to you about meditation. So everyone seems to be so focused on the past and the future, they seem to forget about the present. And I have this issue myself, I feel like sometimes I didn't really live out the day that just passed. So basically I was so deep in my thoughts or so busy that I forgot to enjoy that day. I didn't notice the weather outside or maybe the events going on around me. I think that's a pretty bad thing and you definitely need to anchor yourself to the present. So how do you go about doing that, you might ask. One way is by training your mind to pull itself back into the present. You can achieve that through meditation. Meditation is basically an act that you can do, something like a workout for your brain, which allows you to pay attention to the present and be more mindful of your surroundings rather than being anxious about the future or worrying about something that's about to happen. Meditation can basically bring you to a state of mind where you're no longer putting your brain in overdrive. You're not really thinking much when you're living in the present, which is good. Because nowadays people are just thinking about a thousand things at once. And if you do that, you're not really living your life. You're really just speed running it and basically thinking about everything else but the present. So meditation can help you achieve that mindfulness. But being aware that you're not mindful is basically the first step of the journey. Meditating and having the discipline to go through it every day is basically the next step. A lot of people throughout the years have been meditating and I find this fascinating because a lot of cultures around the globe have practiced meditation even though they haven't really been in contact with one another. If you look up meditation and its history you will notice that uh, Asian people have been meditating, Muslim people have been meditating, Westerners have also been meditating because it's really quite a simple thing to do and we'll go through the techniques of doing it in another video. In this video I just wanted to bring awareness to it because it has a lot of benefits, especially if you're a very anxious person or maybe you suffer from attention deficit disorder. Meditation can help you be aware of your issues because oftentimes we really tend to overthink things. Sometimes it's worth analyzing our, our own behavior, but more often than not, it's just not worth it. Meditation helps bring awareness to what is important. You'll find that meditation isn't really uh, sitting in a yoga pose, closing your eyes and just thinking, thinking about inner peace. That's just really the televised version of it. There are many ways to meditate. Obviously that's the more popular one, but after, honestly meditation just means focusing on one thing. It doesn't matter how you do it or how you achieve it. And the purpose isn't actually to meditate, but rather to enter the state of mind that meditation leads to. Much like sleeping, in a way. When you sleep, you try to fall asleep first. But sleeping itself is a state of mind. It's not really something you do consciously. Meditation is much like that. You try to get in a perfect state of mind. And if you'll actually start meditating, you'll notice that you often drift away from the present. And that's good, because that's what meditation helps point out. It takes training and oftentimes it takes a lot of training to, to be more mindful. And we're gonna see exactly how that's done in the next video. But for now, just try to be more aware of your surroundings and try to live in the present. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time with a video on how to meditate properly and how to achieve a more mindful state, being more aware of the present.